What's up, everyone? Thank you for coming back to another episode on the channel. So this episode, we are going to be doing a lot of caving, and then we'll be building a villager breeder at the end of the episode. We are basically doing a lot of caving because we need to get our slime farm much more effective. And then, um, yeah, that's basically about it. I haven't had a whole lot of time to play. I've been having a lot of anxiety issues this this week. So also... There is going to be quite a few clips where the uh, game audio doesn't come through because I keep muting the game because I go AFK. I went AFK a lot and it just, I didn't want to listen to mobs in my headphones while I was trying to calm down that sort of stuff. So if there's no game audio, that's the reason why. My bad. But let's get into this. Last episode, I said you were going to see the uh, mine. So let's actually go down there and start collecting all the resources. As you can see, there is a lot of resources down here, so I'm going to collect everything, and then I'm going to show you guys what all we collected, because I'm guessing we're probably going to have a couple stacks of everything, well, besides diamonds, probably, and coal. Wow, that took like <laughs> 30, 45 minutes to clear all the ores and everything out. Let's get up to the uh, storage room and actually see what all we got. All right, we should be ready. Let's uh, see this. <laughs> okay, that's a lot more diamonds than what I was expecting. But we still are going to get a lot more supplies this episode. Let me get a shulker box ready, and we are going to go into the caves to get them lit up. Now, I made a quick and easy shulker box. I got some extra food, some coal, some dirt, some logs, and a ender chest. That should be everything we need for this uh, caving exploration. So let's go into it. Okay, I think I found a pretty decent cave. This one should work for us. So let's uh, start exploring this and everything like that. Now, I don't know how much caving I'm going to be doing this episode, but I'm probably not going to show you guys all of it just because there's probably going to be anywhere between five to 10 hours of caving this episode that I will be doing. Hopefully I don't die. Now, I don't think I'm going to be picking up any copper, but I'll be picking up everything else. Because, to be honest, I know you can use copper for building and stuff like that. It just, I don't like the color of it. Never have. Maybe one of these days I'll come down and just mine a whole bunch of copper one day. Not today, though. Also, while we're doing this, I want to talk to you guys about some stuff and everything like that. So first things first, I want to explain why some of my videos seem a little bit choppy. There's actually a very specific reason for that. And I don't know how else to say it. I hate my voice. I don't like listening to my voice. I, th I try to edit it to the point where I do the least amount of talking as possible. And I think that's a, a mental issue I had to get around. Now... This stems to, from me actually making RuneScape videos back in, because that's what I normally do, is I make RuneScape videos. That's what I did on my channel and everything like that. And when you're making a RuneScape video, there's a lot more things that you do. So, like, a Minecraft video. I usually put about 10 to 20 hours into a Minecraft video. In a RuneScape video, I have videos that took me 150, 200 hours to do. You know, one of my biggest grinds on that game took me 1,500 hours, you know? And it just... And when you're trying to compress that much time into a video, you really don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking. So, I got to, used to not... Worrying about my talking so much and just like, hey, explain what I'm going, go to the next clip. Say, explain what's going on, go to the next clip. You know, that sort of stuff. And it it actually made an issue with the RuneScape videos as well because I, got, I got so stuck in my head that, like, I started talking faster and faster and it... It, it messed a lot of stuff up, and I'm trying to break this now, and it's difficult because you guys can sometimes hear it in the, the videos and everything like that. I have a very bad stutter, so I'll start talking, and I'll go, and, and then, and then you know, I'll, I'll stutter, and 
I try to cut it out so you guys don't hear it because I, I, I just don't like it and it just makes it frustrating. I found all the zombies that were making the noise. Actually, I was trying to find it in the when I was trying to talk and I couldn't find them. Here they all are. We just started and there's already a bunch of mobs down here. This is going to get a lot worse the more caves we uh, actually light up. And I'm so glad we have good armor. So, so glad we have good armor. Ooh, we found a geode. Um, we're actually not that far down from our base, so... Yeah, I, I actually don't know how these work. I don't know if the, the blocks that had the geodes on it, I don't know if I had to put a crystal back on on it to get it to work or if they just grow by themselves i've never used a geode but this is good because i do want to get uh tinted glass we actually just found our first diamonds of this mining exploration now the way i do my uh caving is i don't grab the uh ores right away i go through and i light up and then I go back. So I, I backtrack a lot. So it probably takes me a lot longer to caving than a normal person. But it makes sure that I'm safe. You know, I don't have to worry about creepers, skellies, you know, all that chasing after me. We're finding diamonds all over the place in this cave, aren't we? I thought I'd bring you guys back in for an update. It's been mm, an hour or two since the last clip, I think. Um, yeah, we are on, like, our third or fourth cave. We're not really finding anything standout-ish. We haven't really found any other, any spawners or anything like that. So, we're just kind of moving along and keeping it going. We found a lot more diamonds, you know, just the usual stuff, but nothing standout-ish. We haven't died yet, which is amazing. <laughs> But I'm going to keep uh, rolling, and I'll bring you guys back once we find something interesting. Oh, hey! Look at that. We actually found our first spawner. Now, we don't need it, but it's just kind of cool to find. Also, I wanted to ask you guys. What do you guys like? Um, so, I'm a huge car, car nerd and a huge anime nerd. And if you guys like anime... The winter seasons are dropping, and our winter 2024 seasons are dropping, and they are very good. If you're not into anime, I I understand, but if you guys or if you want to try it and you don't want to hop into an anime that you know has a hundred plus episodes and all that stuff, you just want something small to see if you like it or not. Check out some of the winter animes; they're pretty good. I'm pretty sure. You'll find something you like. Like right now, I'm watching one called uh, Solo Leveling. And then I'm also watching Apothecary Diaries. And uh, Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic. So those are the three that I'm keeping up with. Uh, Magical Magic and Muscle Season 2 also dropped. So if you want to go back and you want something a little bit longer, you can go watch Season 1 and watch Season 2. But I am... Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying the animes this this winter, so yeah, what about you guys? Do you guys like anime? Do you guys got any TV shows you like to watch? Let me know. But I will bring you guys back if we find any other cool structures or anything like that. We have found a mine shaft. Now, if you look you can probably see my XPS change. That's because I have went and enchanted a few things and then came back down. Um, I think I've been caving for, God, probably like 10 hours now. I I'm tired of caving. This is going to be the end of our caving. I want to see what we find in here and we're going to be done with, with caving. I, I can't do anymore. I'm tired. This is the second mine shaft we have actually found in our world. The first one was much further away than this mine shaft. Now, I'm hoping we can find a double cave spider spawner inside this mine shaft because then we can make make a double cave spider spawner here. 
which is very close to our base so we can get it all set up and everything like that and hopefully it will work nicely now that's probably not going to happen but we're going to go through this hopefully we find some stuff in the chest i'll bring you guys back for the chest and everything like that I keep hearing spiders, but I don't know where they are. Oh my god, finally, a chest. Uh, not too much stuff in here. Um, we got a name tag, but I can get rid of a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Now, we're, we are going to need a few name tags for next episode. Wink, wink, if that tells you what we're probably going to be doing. Oh, what the hell? Oh. I guess that works. One thing I have noticed since I've been caving for so long, the spawn rates have actually gone up inside the caves because I've been lighting up so many caves. Yeah, that's right, creepers. I'm not scared of you. I got amazing gear on and everything. You can't kill me. Oh, hey, another chest. And it has nothing. Of course it has nothing. Why would it have anything that we need? I am not angry. I am just tired of being in caves. We've been in caves for so long, I feel like I'm turning to Gollum from Lord of the Rings. We found a spider spawner, not the one I was expecting to see, but we did find a spider spawner. And look at that, not that far away from the uh, dungeon, we actually found a regular spider, or a cave spider spawner. This is actually the only cave spider spawner I've seen inside this uh, mine shaft this whole time. And I've probably been in here for a good hour or two, maybe longer. I don't know. I lost track of time. Well, I think I'm coming to the end of this uh, cave. This is the same cave that the uh, mining shaft was in. I think I'm going to call it there for caving. Because, like I said, I've been doing this for a while and I I'm tired. Let's uh, hop up to this surface and see what all we got. This is a very small portion of what we actually got. Um, I I can't remember if I took a video of what our chest looked like before we went caving. I think I forgot to, but that's fine. Another thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to reorganize this because we're actually running out of room. So we need to start reorganizing so we're using both levels. But we'll deal with all that later. I think for right now, I'm going to go AFK and see how well our slime farm does now. Okay, I think I went AFK for probably, probably about eight hours or so. And I went to bed. Um, so last time we did this, I think we got like a row and a half of slime balls. So hopefully we get more this time. Uh, yeah, that's a lot more slime balls this time. Wow, I didn't expect that. I guess, uh, all the caving we did this episode really helped a lot. Also, we're going to have to redo our chest for our actual regular mob farm, because there's, there's a lot less, uh, mob spawning underneath. That means that our mob farm is going to be way more efficient. So we need to fix that as quickly as possible. Yeah, I don't know what happened to this clip here. So I normally play Minecraft in 1080p, but my uh, monitor is a 38 inch ultra wide. It looks like I had it set to my uh, native resolution instead of 1080p. And it, it did this. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to skip to the next clip so you guys can actually see what I did with the storage. All right, this is what I did with the storage. You know, we'll figure something else out for this later on. Because the, um, I got something planned for this mob farm. And it's going to have to be, uh, the bottom half is going to be, had to be redone a little bit.
Um, I think the next thing we're going to do this episode before we get into the villager breeder is I want to fix the actual storage room because everything's just kind of thrown in there. Yes, there's some organization, but not like super good organization. So this is what I did with the storage room. So redstone, diamond, coal, gold, iron. So this is all about basically the same way it was. I have uh, other resources below the diamonds that I don't really have a place for. And then this is going to be farm items, uh, flowers, bamboo, because we will have a bamboo farm at some point. Acacia logs, oak logs, spruce, dark oak. Gravel, dirt, or gravel, sand, dirt, uh, random wood items that we don't really have a place for. I didn't do anything with this side yet. This is just one side. And then I also have all the uh, different types of blocks. And this is just a random block chest. But yeah, the main blocks that we'll probably be using are all up here. Uh, I don't know how often we'll be using these three blocks, but you know, I'll cobble. I'll Stone will probably get filled up, so we'll stone bricks, you know, deep slate, of course, has a bunch of stuff, smooth stone, all that fun stuff. But yeah, this is how I got it set up. This probably took eh, about 45 minutes just, just to reorganize it. Now the final thing of the episode, I am making a very, very, very simple villager breeder. Nothing fancy. It's going to be basically a nine by nine by it, and then it's going to have a four by five room at the end of it. Now, if you guys do want to build a villager breeder just like this one, like I said, it's very simple. Um, I will have a link in the description on how to do it, so you guys don't have to worry or anything like that. This thing takes like seems like it's going to take like 10 15 minutes to build nothing too too long And that's basically the villager breeder done. As you can see, very simple. There's nothing to it. Um, now I just got to get the villagers in it, and then we can go from there. Come on, can't I have one episode where I don't die? We made it so close. So close. And that is the villager breeder done. I actually had to switch around the uh, trap doors because I had them going the wrong way. But it's done. We have a fully functioning villager breeder now. And yeah, that's basically only things I had planned for this episode. Um, it took me a lot longer to record this than I expected. But I'll put an intro at the beginning of the episode explaining why. So, yeah, if you guys liked the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know, tell me how shitty of a job I'm doing, do all that fun stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.